The countdown continues tonight to the start of the FISU World University Games as they return to Lake Placid for the first time in 51 years. Now there will be nine different venues across the North Country and they're doing their best to get ready for some messy winter weather. NBC 5's Tyler Boronsky is live at Whiteface Mountain with how they're preparing. Tyler? Well, as Brian will, Whiteface Mountain will be playing host to the Alpine Skiing Competition starting Friday, but with warm temperatures and rain projecting the forecast, officials say there is cause for concern. Elite athletes from across the globe are flocking to Lake Placid for the 10-day extravaganza that is the FISU Winter Games to face the best of the best. But besides each other, some athletes may also have another opponent that is out of their control, the weather. Well, I'd be lying if I said we don't get January thaws. So, um, you know, we'll be prepared as it comes. We'll watch the weather, we'll, we'll make snow in our priori priority areas before any other strange weather events come at us on Friday and we'll make sure we're protecting our most important parts of the mountain. Temperature highs are expected to reach 38 degrees with an 80% chance of precipitation, potentially impacting Whiteface's first event on Friday, alpine skiing. It's a roller coaster, I mean all around this area, all around the east coast. Darcy Norfolk, Director of Communications for the Olympic Regional Development Authority, says her team met with the different venue sites and she believes they'll be prepared for whatever comes their way. All of our outdoor venues um, that do have snow um, have been prepared and we know variable weather and we know what can come and go and what those forecasts are and there, there aren't any concerns for the competitions. Whiteface says as far as snow making concerns go, they're able to push up against 6,000 gallons of water permitted, an upgrade they've made in the last five years. Ski officials say they've invested heavily in snow infrastructure to prepare for any unforeseen variables. With snow making infrastructure and the investments by the state of New York and the order venues, um, we, you know, we have the capability to make snow and we've made it ahead of time essentially. So the bases are there and we're protecting ourselves for any unfortunate circumstances that may come around. Now they're ready to see their years of work be put into reality. We're all extremely proud to host these events and it's been a long time coming. We've been working on it for I think three years now. So a lot of planning's gone into it and a lot of investment's gone into it. And the Alpine skiing event on Friday will take place from 1030 to 330. Officials describe the course as being fairly wide but with a high vertical drop. I'm live at Whiteface Mountain, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.